everyone welcome back to you me and the family or if you are new here welcome hi i'm hannah a mum of four ranging from 15 years down to a two-year-old and we live in the southeast of england today i've got my weekly tesco shop as well as a few deals that i saw that would be fantastic for christmas and a few offers that would be great for pet lunches and some bits that i needed to stock up on so all in all, today, Tesco shop would have cost me £172.30. But with all the offers and the club card points and all that lot, it came down to £140.9p. And yes, that does sound a lot, but when I've got the dog food, cat food, loo roll, over a month's supply of nappies for Nathan and then Christmas bits, I don't think that's too bad. So I'll take you through what I've bought. I've got all the prices written down of what they are and what offers are on and I will show you at the end my meal plan for the week. So we'll start over here. For anyone that doesn't know, Pepsi Max is on offer at the moment. So if you drink it, it is worth getting this rather than cans. It's normally £2 for a 2 litre bottle. But if you have Tesco Club Card, it's down to a pound at the moment. So I did stock up, I got 15 bottles, but that is for Christmas period, so that's going into the shed. So that was £1 each. I got two of my bottles of Summer Fruit Robinsons, um, that, the double strength one, normally £3.50 each bottle, but they're on club cards at the moment down to £2.50, so I picked up two. We have two tins of sweet corn, 50p each. This I saw and I thought it'd be nice for when we have company. I do like our popcorn, like the toffee and chocolate. But this one is blonde chocolate or blondie chocolate flavoured popcorn. On club card from pound fifty down to a pound. So that's going to go in my Christmas cupboard. I got some Christmas decoration bits to do some activities with Hayley. I got her the Frozen Snowman Cupcake Kit, which was £2. Yes, it would have been a lot cheaper just to make cupcakes and then decorate them, but it's the whole point of trying to get her to read the instructions, which will promote her reading a little bit, and then the enjoyment of being in the kitchen with Mummy. And then I saw these, and I thought they were beautiful. They're um, rice paper. Or sugar paper snowflakes and they're £1.50 so we'll probably put them on some biscuits and cakes and stuff that we make this is aimed for Chloe again she absolutely loves this stuff it's the Nestle Carnation caramel drizzle on club card at the moment from £2.70 down to £2 so I picked her up two of them she needs high calorie food because she has started losing a little bit more weight again so we're bumping up her calories again. So that's them. At the back we have dog food. We are trying to get Shadow to eat any type of dog food at the moment. So I've picked up two lots of the Tesco adult dog food in jelly. She likes this one but we have to literally give her it every other day and mix in a different type of food. But that was £8.15 for 12 tins and then I've got two packs of them. I thought I'd get these for emergencies for the cats because they do have IAMs and Royal Cannon cat food but it's always good to have backup emergency food for if you can't get the usual food which sometimes I'm struggling with at the moment with de uh, demand they're really struggling from Zoo Plus where I get it from normally but um, yeah I thought I'd try this one it's the cheapest I've seen around £2.35. They did have another flavour which was aimed at fish. I think it was tuna and salmon. But I thought I'd get the meat tastes this time to see how they get on. I got a six pack of Hartley's jelly. Strawberry flavour. I know it would be easier and quicker to make jelly. But I thought this would be a nice treat for the kids for their pet lunches leading up to Christmas. I picked up a Terry's Chocolate Orange Toffee Crunch. I thought this would be a nice addition to my Terry's Chocolate Orange collection. That was a pound. Two more packets of Sage and Onion Stuffing, 55p. 
I always have to buy two boxes because we do go through two boxes every time I make it. Got two packets of sausage rolls for the kids' pet lunches and for snacks after school, 95p. Three packets of the Cathedral City mini cheeses, one, two, three. They are on club card at the moment. I wrote it down somewhere, right. Um, £1.90, they normally are, but they're down to £1.20 at the moment. So they're a great thing to have in the cupboard for pet lunches and a little snack for the kids after school. I got a small tub of I Can't Believe It's Not Butter for £1.25. Um, someone asked me the other day on my shopping hauls where I get the fruit cups from. At the moment, they have got them on Club Card, the pineapple, the sliced peach and the pear and peach from one seventy five down to one pound fifty for four cartons or four little plastic tubs so i picked up one of each we've got the pineapple the peach and then the pear and peach and they are all in juice as well and then underneath i've got the loo rolls it's a 12 pack but it's the same thickness as 12 rolls so that's nine pounds Got some breadsticks back here because as we will be entertaining through Christmas, we get all the dips and salsas and all that lot. So we've got two of the original st original style size breadsticks for 55p, two of them. And then, sorry, I've got the washing machine going on in the background. Got to get those school uniforms washed. Um, I've got two packets of the mini breadsticks. These are to go in the kids' pet lunches because I'm going to do some breadsticks with some dips as well this week. Um, they are pound five each. And then where I've moved stuff, got to move it back. Steve is officially back at work from Tuesday to Friday, so I'll be doing his lunches of the week. And I've got him some tuna and sweet corn sandwich filling for one eighty-five. He liked that. I got some corned beef for Chloe's sandwiches. That was £3.20, but I'll be having some of this as well. I ha bought some of this the other day and I absolutely loved it. It's, it's a completely different taste to the other pastry I buy. It's slightly sweeter and I literally... It was dangerous making homemade jam tarts because I sat and ate the whole lot. But um, I wanted to get another packet so that I could make some for actually Steve to eat. That was £1.60. Sandwich me, I've got the ham, which was one sixty nine, and then the wafer thin roast chicken for three pounds sandwiches for pack ups and stuff. Behind the corned beef, I got two jumbo packets of pampers, size five. They are for Nathan for just night time. He uses Aldi's and Lidl's and that lot through the day and we don't have a problem. But at night time, he drinks so much that he leaks through. And we have tried all those different supplies of nappies, but they just couldn't hold it. Pampers does. So that's why we're just getting Pampers just for his night time throughout the night. They were £19 at the moment for both packets. And then down here we have some crumpets for Nathan for lunches. They're 39 p I got some classic dip, which is the onion and garlic, sour cream and chive, cheddar chive and sweet chilli mayo, which Steve might have that one, but the other three we all like. So that's what I'm going to be doing with the breadsticks. And then I have got some carrot sticks as well for the kids' packed lunches this week. Um, got the usual full fat cow's milk at the back, the six pinters, 2 35 each. Brussels sprouts. 95p there for our sunday dinner green beans for chloe's guinea pigs 82p i got six packets of the sliced up apple these are for shane's pack lunches as well as hayley now as well um, shane can't have a normal apple in his pack lunch because of his brace it'll break it so i just get the pre-packed ones i know i could get cheaper but I'd rather get this package stuff so that he has his fruit. And at the moment, they have three packets for one twenty-five in Tesco's. So that's why I got six. Two cucumbers, 69p for sandwiches and packed lunches. 
three packets of mini carrots. And again, I know I could do chopped up carrots, but it's a novelty thing for the kids. Um, 90p each, or they've got the three for two on um, selective prepa prepared vegetables. So these three bags only cost me £1.80. Got a Savoy cabbage, 65p. Some Mary's Piper potatoes, 149 I got Chloe's guinea pigs, some fresh greens. They were 71p. Steve wanted some pineapple in his packed lunch this week. So that's why I've got him one, 89p. Let's hope I can get it before it, before it ripens up, or as it ripens up, before it goes mouldy. Let's see if I can grab it in time. 62p for a sweetheart cabbage for Chloe's guinea pigs. Nathan's usual mountain of bananas, 178. Um, I've got him some Brayburn apples. They are on club card from £1.70 down to 79p. He attacked my mum's fruit bowl last night. Um, and literally five apples out of the six had great big chunks out of them. Now that he's actually properly got teeth coming through. He is well and truly chewing food now and he tucked into an apple so that's why I've got him some apples. Some British carrots, 45p. Some sweet potatoes for me because I like roast sweet potatoes in the winter, 99p. A head of cauliflower, that's on club card to 60p. I can't remember how much it was, I think it was 96 but it's down to 60p now. Head of broccoli, 72p. I got two mangoes. They're on club card at the moment and they're down to 50p each. So I get them. I don't chop them up. I literally just peel them <laughs> and then just sit there with a plate underneath me and some paper towel and then just go at it. It's easier. And I mean, I'm the only one that eats the mangoes, so there's no point in trying to chop it up and waste loads. Um, Swede, 60p. Some blueberries for Nathan for during the week, 99p. Some nightingale peppers. So we've got the green, yellow and the orange, 125. There to go with the dip and the guinea pigs. And then I got two packets of raspberries for Nathan at 139. So that is everything that I got from Tesco's today. Um, but behind me I have got some meat joints that I went in yesterday and got and I'm going to show you them right now right here we have for anyone that doesn't know but you probably already do they have their um, roasting joints on offer at Tesco's so if you have a club card they are down to six pounds a kilo rather than 12 pounds so if you do have the money and the space in your freezer I really do recommend it, stocking up while you can because although it's a roasting joint I'm a bit useless at cooking roasts so I just stick it in the slow cooker and it's absolutely fantastic it melts in the mouth as you may have seen in one of our meals of the week that's how I tend to cook it but also it can save you a lot of money with stew and steak if you're having a lot of stews at the moment you can actually just cut this up, obviously cut the big chunk of fat off the top and use that in slow in stews as well so it saves a lot of money because you think if this is 1.65 kg that's probably a lot of money in diced steak and you could just do it yourself but anyway I'll stop rambling on this one cost me £9.91 I got a bigger one for £12.64 because I have got company for dinner today and we're going to do the beef joint. So that was 12.64, would have been 25.27. And then I've got another one for 9.47 and then one for 10 pounds 2p. So I've got four joints and it cost me 42 pound 4, but it would have cost me 84 pound 7. So that has saved me a big chunk of money that would have cost me throughout the year coming as well as you don't know the prices are going up through the roof with me anyway so that's what I've got we'll use one the other three will go in the freezer 
but as well as them I went to Sainsbury's because they have their legs of lamb on offer at the moment they have them down to six point at uh, six pound fifty a kg so I picked up four of them in my local Sainsbury's I got one that was eleven sixty four one bigger one of 15.52 for when we have company and then some more small slightly smaller ones for 11.54 and then 11.38 so i got four legs of lamb from sainsbury's that cost me 50 pounds 8p and then we'll use them out use them throughout the year as well and one leg of lamb will do us a sunday roast and then a meal during the week as well so that really does work out great value Let's just hope I can find space in the freezer for them all. So that is my haul from Tesco's, Sainsbury's and then my shopping from Tesco's. So I'll add on to the end of this video my meal plan for the week. My meals of the week so far haven't gone exactly to plan. We have kind of had to switch things up this week and we didn't have the planned meal last night. But it doesn't matter, I'll just do that another day. So I will see you in a minute with my meal plan. Here is our meal plan for the week. It's not a strict plan, but it's a guideline to what I aim to do for this week. So for Monday, we're going to do some sausage roll and chips. I'm pretty sure I've got some Greg's sausage rolls in the freezer to cook. Then the pork chops, spuds and veg that I didn't do last week, I'm going to do on Tuesday. Snap is on Wednesday and it's a Christmas party. So all the kids will be fed then, including the two teenagers, they'll be coming. So I've just got to sort me and Steve out when I get home. Thursday, I will plan, plan to do a chilli con carne. Friday, I'm out for a Christmas meal with some friends. So I will do Steve and the kids sausage, waffle and beans before I go. Saturday, we're just literally just going to wing it and look what's in the freezer to see what we can find. So it's something from the freezer. And then Sunday will be my typical roast. So that's our meal plan. Let's see if we can stick to it. <laughs> see you later, guys. Bye.